What's going on YouTube? <clears throat> I uh, finally went through my graded books. Oh shit, I just realized something. Um, went through my graded books and uh, put out the ones that I was willing to get rid of and sell. Uh, sorry, I spilled something on my desk and I'm trying to, I have a feeling I want, I want to put something on it, a book or something. So what I'm doing is uh, going through, I'm making this video to uh, show you guys which ones I'm willing to get rid of and before I put them on eBay give you guys a uh, chance to uh, you know make me an offer or something maybe uh, we can work something out if not you know I'm gonna put these on eBay so uh, so I'm just going through the books to look to see exactly what I do have I was just I had like one two three four, like eight nine boxes I think it is of uh, uh, graded books um, so it just took me a while to go through all of them and figure out which ones I want to get rid of. And I probably should look at, uh, let, let go of more than I'm willing to right now. But, you know, give me some time. But, uh, yeah, so I'm just going to go through. And not everyone's like this, like, spectacular book or anything. Some of these are books I just grabbed, um, on eBay because, you know, the price wasn't bad, so I grabbed them. Um, so this is the first one. It's actually a... I guess this is pretty rare actually too. I, I didn't realize that. I don't know how many of these were made. Um, about 175 of them. This is 145 out of 175. Um, and it was uh, Wizard World 2004 Con Edition and uh, Wizard World Philadelphia Exclusive Sketch Cover. And it's a 9.5, which is this is the only time I've ever seen a 9.5. And I think someone else showed the exact same book and it came back at 9.5. But this one here is actually, it's not signed on the book. It's actually signed on the case um, by Joe Casada. Um, so you can see it right there. The case itself is signed, not the book. Whatever. Um, and it says 04 and of course this big old Q or whatever the hell that is. Um, yeah, so I always want to let that go. You guys make me an offer. I'm not sure what this book even is worth, but I guess it's worth whatever you guys are willing to pay for it. <clears throat> Next book is, not every book is like that. You know, well, I'm not even sure that that might be worth something. 175 of them. Um, and this is another one, another con, San Diego Comic Con exclusive. This is Astonishing X-Men 25, uh, it's a, a sketch cover, um, whatever, no big deal, but it's a 9.8, um, anyone interested in that, let me know. Okay, and here are some good books, some signature series books. Um, someone asked me about this a while back, about buying this off me. And I apologize. I'm horrible at getting back to people. I forget. I have a horrible memory. Um, I plan to get back to people, and then I completely forget about it. I think um, Tom Ryan asked me at one point. I just remember recently uh, sent me a message about uh, one of those uh, polybag Batman books. You know, because um, I had a number of them, the color editions. I just never got back to them. Sorry, Tom. Um, I had every intention to. But uh, hey, maybe whoever asked me before about this might be interested in so. This is uh, Big Hero 6, number one, and it's signed by Chris Claremont. This is an 8.0. I had two of them signed, and the other one was an 8.5, and it had a little check mark, the uh, Presents Better. Um, I don't know, I still think that this book was better than an 8.0, but I'm looking at it now. You know, this has been a while now since I got this graded. And, I mean, I can see a little bit of, like some scuff marks and stuff like that, but it's still an 8.0, Big Hero 6, and it's signed by Chris Claremont. So, let me know. I wasn't interested. Okay, uh, I have two of these also, so I got this one. Um, I think my other one's a 9.6. Yeah, I believe it is. But uh, the bag's ripped on this. Somehow I ripped it. That's not no big deal. Just a bag. Uh, it's Superman Man of Steel 17. It's the first appearance of Doomsday in Cameo. Uh, 
I guess this is the one that's worth a little bit of money. Uh, and it's signed by Louise Simonson and New York Comic Con. And it's a 9.0. Okay. And here's her signature down here. It's in black. She's like a really nice woman. Um, she's always, I don't know, I, I, I went to her again this past year and uh, um, got something done by her, signed by her. I can't remember. Oh, it was, uh, no, I got these signed this year. That's right, these two. And the year before, I got her to sign um, my uh, New Mutants 87, is it? Whatever, the first cable. She did that too. And also, she signed my first Apocalypse. Um, so, yeah. Okay, so I got two of these books. Um, I had three of them signed, and I took the best one. Um, I, the other one, um, well, I'll show this one. This, this is the lower grade of one. It's an 8.5. It's Avengers 181. First appearance of Scott Lang, later becomes Ant-Man. New Avengers lineup, and Guardians of the Galaxy appearance. And it's signed by George Perez. Um, so you can see him signed it right up there. Uh, and off white to white pages. And it's signed at the New York, uh, Northeast Comic Con. I had it signed. So yeah, there's that. And another one too. This one's a 9.0 though. Same exact thing. Off white to white pages, 9.0. Same thing. No difference. Okay. Oh, and looks on the back, full page ads for Shogun Wars number one and Power Man and Iron Fist 50. Pretty cool. Oh, yeah. So. Um, well, let me get these off the desk real quick. I also have two boxes of these. Um, this is the Black Mask box. You know, it's just, you know, I'm willing to sell these for whatever. I think I paid 40 bucks for them. So, for 40 bucks and you know whatever shipping five bucks for shipping 45 i don't i don't know whatever i mean if, if anyone wants these let me know i got two of them so i got one i got, got that one too unopened not opened i don't know if it was ever i had heard a rumor that there was some original sketches in them i don't know if that ever actually came out to be true because i don't think i ever saw one Okay, I got some pretty good books too. Uh, I'm going to show this one first. This is a uh, Star Wars number one, 8.5, uh, and it's signed by um, Tom Palmer. He did uh, it's him and Howard Chaikin did cover and art. So I don't know Tom Palmer. I don't know. That's what it says right there, though. So I don't, I don't know what he. I don't know if he actually worked on the cover too, because I'm pretty sure Howard Chaikin did the cover. Um, but maybe he did the inside art. But uh, maybe they did both. Maybe they both worked on it. But whatever. But it says uh, Star Wars: New Hope. Movie adaptation begins. First appearance of Luke Skywalker, R2D2, C3PO, Princess Leia, and Darth Vader. Their first appearances. Uh, 1977. Hmm. Signed by Tom Palmer, Big Apple Comic Con, 8.5. Okay. Next one. I had two of these. They were both 5.0s. So I, I'm selling one of them. Actually, the uh, I just looked at the cover. Which one I like better? I kind of picked because they're exact same grade. But it's the uh, um, first appearance: Nick Fury, Agent of Shield, and Hydra. Baron Mordo appearance. So that's pretty cool. 5.0. Um, I was actually happy with the grade. So, who knows? I got two of them. So I got to figure I got to let one go. That's why I got them both graded actually. I figured I let one of them go. Okay. This one here is kind of hard to let go, even though I have one in a 9.8 and it's signed by Scott Snyder. Uh, this one here, though, I have to get out of the bag because it's one of those CGC crappy bags you can't see through. But it's Batman number one. It's an 8.0, which I knew when I did it. It wasn't pressed or anything, so it could probably go up a grade. Um, it could even, I mean, it could possibly go up to a 9. Um, I would say definitely an 8.5. But when I got it, 
I didn't think about pressing the time. This is like um, first time I went to the Boston Comic Con a few years ago. I got this signed, and it's signed by Scott Snyder and Greg Capullo. That's the reason I'm kind of, you know, unsure about letting this go, but I'm going to do it uh, because it's signed by Greg Capullo. My other one's only signed by Scott Snyder. I have the um, this one here signed by Scott Snyder 9.8, and I also have the uh, bearing cover um, that uh, signed by Scott Snyder. Um, I wanted to get Ethan Van Scriver uh, to sign it, but I, I didn't get him to do it, unfortunately. So, but this one's signed by Capullo. I guess I could always crack that one out of the case and have Capullo sign that one. But yeah, if anyone's interested in an 8.0, it's unpressed, so you can get it pressed, and it'll probably come up to an 8.5, maybe even a 9. Um, so, yeah, if you're interested, let me know. And I got one more book. This is kind of the same thing, the same scenario. I have another one in, of this book coming up in a uh, 9.4. Um, and it's signed by the artist. However, it's not signed by the, art, the writer, like this one is. This is an 8.5, Preacher Number 1. And it's signed by Garth Ennis. I got him to sign at the New York Comic Con two years ago, I believe it was. So, um, now I do have this in a 9.4, and also the Preacher Preview, and I believe a 9.4 also. Um, but they are signed by Steve Dillon. Mm. So, you know, I uh, I don't know. I can always get them cracked later and have Garth Ennis sign them. Even Glenn Favre, I heard he was at the uh, um, Philadelphia Comic Con this weekend. But, uh, which I was planning to go to, but whatever. But yeah, so it's an 8.5. I thought about holding on to this until the, the show got going. Um, but, you know, if someone makes a good enough deal for me, you know, um, I'll let it go. So, yeah, so that's the last book. Um, and as I said before, uh, that's the last graded book I have right now. Um, but I do still have this one here. I Love and Rockets number one. This is the self-published first printing. It has the post office box stamp on the inside also, and it's also signed um, by Jamie Hernandez a couple times, and it's also signed, uh, I think it's uh, um, Beto by, I think, I think that's Gil Gilbert, the other brother. Um, but yeah, so let me know anyone's interested in this. I know this is uh, this is one of those rare books when the 800 were made. Uh, it's a pretty pricey book, so I was thinking about holding on to it until CBCS start grading um, magazine size books, but I don't know. We'll see. If anyone's interested, let me know. So that's it, guys. Um, I am going to keep going through my regular books and pulling out books to sell. Um, I'm also probably going to make um, sets. Um, so, you know, nothing that's any significance, just a um, thing, series I've read that I don't want anymore. Um, probably a lot of image stuff, um, you know, even, you know, there's going to be a lot of stuff in there, so but I'll be doing it little by little. But yeah, if anyone's interested in this stuff, uh, shoot me a private message um, and on YouTube here and uh, let me know. Or even shoot me a message on here and I'll get in contact with you. I'll shoot you my, my, uh, my text message, my uh, phone number, stuff like that. Okay, thanks guys, bye.